I don't know if I'm correct, but uh, I believe that your two heroes in cricket are Rahul Dravid and Kevin Peterson. You can't get two diametrically opposite people as Rahul and uh, KP to be your idols. How? And someone like you, who's like uh, closer to KP than Rahul, K- how can how is it that you like two people so dram- diametrically different? Um, so when I was younger, I was a lot skinnier. I was, yeah, I was always slightly taller than everyone else um, at my age, but I was real skinny. Um, and I was more of a touch player. Um, and I remember on the 15, I opened the batting for Barbados and I batted all 50 overs and got 98 not out. So that was my style of play. Um, just easy on the eye, just very reliable, very dependent. And they had a few guys in the team who were a bit more muscular, had a bit more power. And I was literally the wall. That was my nickname. Um, and they would score the runs around me. I'd basically block up an end. And I really, really liked Dravid. Um, one of the things I really loved about him, funny enough, was he'd play a cover drive, he'd play a flick, and the fielder would have to chase every single ball. They won't catch it. It'll still hit the boundary, but they'll have to chase it. And that was symptomatic of his timing and his effortless stroke play. And I just really, really enjoyed watching him. And obviously, because I saw similarities in my current style of batting, um, he was somebody that I really, really looked up to. Um, and I remember he got 48 against the West Indies. I think twin 48 or something like that. And those were probably two of the most important knocks in that whole series. And it gave him the platform to go on. And I think either draw or win that game. And he got a man in the match, something like that. Yeah. Um, and I remember, yeah, I remember scoring 100 and having a list of DVDs to choose from and choosing that one. Um, obviously, with analysis and picking apart the innings and these times where he struggled and how he got past it. And then he flowed a bit and then he reined it back after the loss and the kids type of thing. So I really, really liked Javid. I then got into on the 19 stuff and got started to bulk up a bit, started to hit the ball a little harder. And then I just liked the way KP took apart bowlers. Like he always seemed in control. He always wanted to be on the front foot, always wanted to be the aggressor. Um, yeah, I guess I like players with that mentality who are not conforming to rules, mm. but making their own rules as they go along and doing it in a way that even if they fail, is like I'm going to score a mat- in a matter of innings, in a matter of balls. So it doesn't matter. He plays forward, inside edge, it doesn't matter. He'll steer you down. Or he'll walk across and flick an out, swing a through mid wicket for four. So I like that sort of brash but in control, aggression and approach. Um, and that's the way I started to model my batting in a bit. Um, obviously, it became more powerful, started to a few down the ground. Um, and yeah, I guess that change or that evolution from idol to idol was a bit uh, about my evolution in physical stature and um, my mental outlook on batting and the way that I started to approach my innings. And did you tell any of them that you... I had modeled some some part of your career on both of them. Uh, did you ever get a chance? You worked with Rahul at, at Delhi Daredevil, so did you ever tell him that? So, um, so now forget my first encounter. Um, Kurt Edwards, a very good friend of mine, someone I look up to a lot. Um, so he obviously made his debut for West Indies against India, got 100 in, I think, Dominica. That tour came back to Barbados, and he and Munaf Patel had formed a good relationship and I think it was either a rain break or like a, a lunch break or something he told Munaf to tell Raul there's a young guy um, he's a fan of yours if you'd be willing to speak to him for five ten minutes so I'd ask her if he could arrange it to arrange it and I remember having all these questions to ask so I wanted to know about slip fielding because many may not know, but me and Chris Jordan um, used to field in the slips at school together for about four or five years. We probably dropped four catches total. Okay. Um, first and second slip. So I was like, boom. I want to know about slip fielding. Mm-hmm. I want to know about captaincy. Um, I want to know about batting, your mindset, everything. So I had all these questions in my mind to, ha- to ask Raul. 
to Kurt eventually looked at the stand, he called me down, told the policeman he's fine, he's coming to us. And I remember we met in the hallway at Kensington Oval. Mm. And Kurt was like, Raul, Carlos, Carlos Raul, um, young cricketer. Uh, I think he was playing for Barbados then, um, and a big fan of yours. And I remember just, I think he shook his hand. He had a, um, a cup of coffee. And I just remember looking up at him and I was just like, this is Raul Drave. Like I had a proper starstruck fanboy moment. And yeah, it's like, I know I cannot even remember if we spoke, what we spoke about. I could just remember the smell of coffee on his breath. And after <laughs> afterwards, like someone people asked me, like, so yeah, we thought of Dravid about, what did you mention to Dravid? What did Dravid tell you? What was the advice? And I was just like, I don't know. <laughs> I literally don't know. All I can remember is the smell of coffee. His breath. Obviously, fast forward to 2016 on his coach. Um, and I left the World Cup, spent a day in Kolkata, flew the next day to um, Delhi. And I think we had a team meeting right away. Um, so he met me at his door. And then it was, he was just like, Carlos, welcome. And then I was just like, nah, I can't mess up this time too. I just gave him a hug, <laughs> asked him for a selfie. And then I was like, it was meaning to, I was meaning to do that for the last you know, three, four years. So I just need to get it out of the way. Um, so yeah, he knows. Um, and later that season or next season, um, we were out um, at a dinner at a friend's house and we were talking, playing some pool and stuff. And I mentioned it to him. He was a little embarrassed. Um, but yeah, he knows. Um, I think I mentioned it to KP once in Big Bash, but it was a less controlled situation. So he was doing commentary, I was playing, so I was warming up. I just shouted him for a bit, bum, bum, bum. Um, he was a little less receptive and I could understand why, um, but I've never had the ability to be able to convey how much I had idolized him um, growing up when I began my career. Yeah.